blessed love to each and every one. Hope you're having a blessed Saturday. Hope your Saturday is as blessed and as good as mine. Welcome to How Can I Help Speak on this channel and this is Murphy. To my viewers and subscribers, love. To my family and friends, blessings every time. Now, just wanna tap up on this um, recent murder back home in Jamaica, where this female was found in the back seat of a car, throat slashed and stuffed in an igloo on the back seat. Now the person of interest who the police are looking for or need to speak to is a deacon. I have a little clip here that I basically gonna play. It's from this channel called Teach Them. Respect to your brethren. This is from Teach Them live stream. And he was saying some very interesting things about the deacon, stuff that he has been involved with, out on parole, involved in another murder, and so forth. So we're going to play about maybe five to ten minutes of it, and we're going to hear some of the things that this man has done. And then we can put start putting things together and see that we really have some crazy people back home in Jamaica. Anyway, so here we go. Let me play this thing before I stay too long. person who has been listed as a person of interest in relation to this gruesome discovery where a female in her 20s was found with her throat, with her throat slashed, body wrapped up, placed in an igloo and left in a car along an highway is a deacon. I repeat that a deacon, de as far as me know, deacon as a man will have position in a church. You're right, about that Julian, um about that Empress Love. The operative word con a deacon. That's why I said I would have to do do the, the individual video for this story, yeah. When when the stream finished tonight. His name is Linton Stevenson. Yeah? So he's wanted, and not only for that, for a number of other things. And hold on, on the soon you want to go on. Based on information after the police would have discovered the female's body, they would have gone to a premises that was occupied or being occupied by Linton Stevenson. So he also goes by the name Gary Stevenson or Jarbone. <laughs> Jarbone. So the police visited his home in uh, Bloom's. Field Circle, Manchester. He was not present, so the police would have conducted a search at the premises where they would have observed blood stains in one of the bedrooms, in the bathroom, on the stairway. They also found a knife with what appears to be blood stains on it. See? He is 51 years old and he is currently out on a parole. I would have done a video about parole recently where I guess most of you have never watched because the views suggest that I want them video that you do never send on a notification for. Watch me now, please. I'm not doing it. Now. Listen to me now. You think I get interesting at you all. Know? He was out on parole. Parole for what? For another murder. Yeah? But before we get to the next murder now, God, I depend on the next page somewhere else. He is currently on parole for the murder for a murder committed several years ago. So we'll get to that murder then. He's also wanted for an incident 
where he is reported to have pulled a gun at a woman and a woman on August 16th. Pure woman, in this man, this deep and of That same gun was also found Pure during woman. the search conducted by the police when they visit. So they find the knife with the blood stain, they find blood stain all over, plus they find the gun. The police are theorizing that the unidentified woman would have been killed at the house and their body taken to where it was found. Oh, the next part of that story, I didn't see if I can't find it. I don't know either. All right, yeah. I'm going to confuse. This story is going to confuse me. So watch it. So the deacon now, yeah, was charged for murder of his wife, <laughs> Claudette Nelson, 42 years old, in 2006. She was an eagle of St. Mary. However, the murder charge was later re reduced to manslaughter. So reports are that during a domestic dispute, he used a machete to inflict several wounds all over Nelson's body. Watch this now, peeps. If your kids are watching, um, you probably, I don't know where you're going to this, but be careful now. Because as I said, I would have, a, would have had experience when I was going to about certain things and things and things and things. See, when say farmer deacon teach, well, the article and say is a deacon in a family, so I can only work with what they are really. You understand what I mean? And the observer would have been the paper would have released um, the articles. I also saw it on the RGR webpage and also the star and some other places. See, watch me now. Watch me now, peeps. And this is going to get a bit gruesome now. So if kids are watching, you probably need to get rid of them for a little bit. After he proceeded to chop his wife, 42 year old Claudia Nelson, multiple times all over her body, he then proceeded to remove her eyes, cut out her vagina, and remove her intestine. So, my wife at 42 years old in 2006, multiple chops, remove her eyes. Remember, you know, he's a deacon, he's not a surgeon, and he's not an eye doctor. Removed her eyes, cut out her vagina, cut out her vagina. So it made me, my head just start go like this. We have some very demonic things going on. These are not real people. This cannot be human being. These must be a set of species that after God finished make us the stuff that he threw away come together and form these people the clay that he threw away when he makes me and you and everybody else that's what formed these people these people were not created by the Most High they are not follower of love they are not good people and it's sad to say that these people are born from a female. The person of interest in the murder of the 26 or 22 years old female that got her throat slashed, stuffed in an igloo in the backseat of a Toyota SUV is a deacon who murdered his wife, removed her eyes, 
I don't want to go to Virginia. And that man is on on the street. Think about that, people. He's on the street. He also pulled a gun on another female a while back also. And who knows how many other females he has assaulted, disrespected, and abused. And these are the people who are on the street. So now the police are looking for them. Now I'm, wondering, I'm trying to figure out why, how come they're so big, bad, and powerful to kill a woman, but then you run and hide. I keep saying back in the days, because back in the days, my father is a part of it too, because he used to hit my stepmothers. Yeah, I, I say stepmothers because I got more than one. But he had never gone that far where we see him I chop them up and up. No, I've never seen that. I've seen my father hit my stepmother more than one time. There's a point in time when I have two stepmothers living in the same home. I would call it yard, the same yard back home. Two stepmothers. That's the kind of man my dad was. And he ain't never killed none of them. He ain't never killed none of us. He ain't never abused none of us, even though he tied my ass up and whooped me once. I see my dad go through hands and lengths to destroy the man who raped my sister. I never see my dad turn around and say he's gonna kill any one of my stepmother or my mother or, or any woman. And we have a man of the cloth. Listen to what he just did, what he did to his wife. Multiple chops, removed her eyes and cut out her vagina. Sad to say that these are the kind of people that live in my country. It is very, very, very sad. I'm always proud to be a Jamaican. Proud. Love my island or my country, whichever one, because I get confused sometimes. Love my Jamaican people. Love my Jamaican food, my culture, everything about Jamaica I love. I love Jamaica so much that I am not afraid of using my platform to say, get rid of these germs, any means necessary. Get rid of them. How can you born from a woman? From a woman. You sleep with women. You say you're no gay, so you always want a woman. There's so many women out there. You don't have to kill none. You don't have to rape none. Some men have about three, four, five women. So if one don't want you and she wants to move on, let her go. Who gives you the right to take someone's life? Especially a woman, mother of this hurt. We talk about we're so homophobic in Jamaica. We're so homophobic. But if you can't get with a girl, you gonna kill her. If you disrespect and rape that girl, you gonna kill her. And you have people who stand up and defend the wrongs that's going on down there. Females who are defending 
that man and who are doing these kind of things. Disgusting, disgusting ways of living, brutalizing the females then. We say we're homophobic and I ain't gonna stop saying it, but we're killing out the woman. I don't get it. Somebody tell me what's going on, because I don't get it. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. So when we kill off all the females and from the little ones then to the older ones then, then when you walk out the street and you turn around, all you can see in front of you is bananas. All you can see a banana look by you all around because guess what? We kill off all the women, all the females, so there's nothing left but banana. And it seems like that's what you guys want. It seems like that's what you guys want. It's banana. I don't know what no female owner only want banana. So stop saying you're born gay, you're born lesbian, you're born this and you're born that. May I talk everybody from artists right down. And if you bun them, stop fly pump playing. Stop wear the clothes them where you wear. And even the money we are spent. Because some of them are so dark, illiterate, and ignorant. And it is very sad. It is very sad. Such a beautiful island we have. The best brand name in the entire world. Some of us don't know it. That's why I said it should have been easy for people to get a chance to travel. So they can see and they can hear how people talk about us. How people love us. But ain't no more. Not like how they used to. Because they're seeing what we're doing. And even if I'm not doing it, I'm a Jamaican. And I get looked at just the same. I ain't cutting off no woman head. I ain't beating up no woman. I remember the first time I put my hands on my ex-wife. And she ran out of the house and stand up across the street and watch me. That time my heart is going like this because I swear she gonna call the police and that's it for me. And I only put my hands on her one time. And trust me, I was sweating. My underwear was wet. I was sweating a word because when it comes to the law, me very, very scared of police. That's why I may walk. Them say, walk us up, may I walk back. Them say, don't go there, so may not go in there. Not going there. I could never have the heart, the stomach, to even think about some of these things that these men are doing to these females. Who are we? Where do we come from? Is it true that I've been hearing all the time that the set of Africans that we, the set that came from Africa that jump over the boat or escape or whatever it is and end up in Jamaica are the worst set? Is that true? Hmm? Is that true? I said back in the days man used to beat a woman. Yes, and some man used to cut women too. Yeah, I can, I can definitely say that. Some might used to cut up women too. So the cutting up thing is not just starting. It's been coming out for a while. But the generation now and the people now who are doing these things have no heart at all. There's so much female life that has been taken in the past three years, four years, five years. Bothers me. It bothers me. Because they don't deserve to lose their life like that. But I keep praying that God will definitely, definitely do His job. 
I pray that he will definitely do his job. Definitely deal with these garbage. Give them what they deserve. Taste of their own medicine. And the laws in Jamaica need to change. No more putting these people in jail and wasting taxpayers' money. Just like how you take one's life, you don't deserve to have yours. You don't deserve to go sit in jail and people paying for you to stay in there. No, you don't deserve it. Sad. But you know, to all these female men, to all these people who lose their loved ones, man, my condolence to each and every one of you. Parents, continue to keep your eyes out on your children. Continue to love them. If you tell them to do something that they don't want to do, don't be afraid to bop them in the mouth. Don't be afraid to do it. Because it's better you bop them in the mouth than they go through the door and get raped or killed. Alright, this is how can I help speak on this channel. And this is Murphy. God bless and one love to each and every one. Blessings up on Jamaica. Peace out.